Hey guys, I seem to have sprung a leak in my uh, washer reservoir someplace. So, I am going to try and take it apart. So it looks like I'm going to have to, I can't get it from over here. So, looks like I have to unbolt these bolts over here. Right there, right there. Take all this off. Okay, 10 millimeter. Okay, this little thingy here. Push it through. Okay, now, let's see now, let's go up top, see these right here, this part right here, you have to push it in so it can go through that hole. I am going to need two hands for this. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's pretty loose. Now, let's go below. If I can take it out without breaking anything. Something's holding it up. This is hooked up back here, down here. Well, I think it'd be easier if I had the tire off, but uh, that's alright. I like doing things the hard way. So I'm gonna take this part off. The pump should come off. Okay, I took it off. I don't know if you can see that little slit right there, but I'm guessing this is probably one of the culprits that was causing it to leak. But I'm just going to take this apart. So I'm going to take off this connection here and it should slide right out. Okay, got it. Let's see, everything's disconnected. And slide right out. Boom! All right. There it is. The reservoir. That's what it looks like. So I'll fill it up with water. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, it appears that I don't even have to fill this up with uh, water because this thing is so old it's got cracks all over the place it's got cracks up here cracks over here there's cracks all over the place all the way down this is a big one and and right about that o-ring over here probably leaks down there too Probably gonna have to either get a new one or 
glue it all back. But I'm gonna price it out. Hopefully it's not an arm and a leg. If it costs a lot, then I'm gonna have to fix it my own way. Alright, well, thanks for watching my short video. Have a great day. Aloha and take care.